Right, so, so you'll see in this presentation here that there are many examples of how we can use Snort and Wireshark to be able to detect certain threats. Okay, so there's the rules file. Uh, so what I'm going to do is to show how you can actually use Snort in an offline mode. So hopefully you've, you've downloaded Snort and Wireshark. And a good thing to do is to actually set up the path on your uh, system. Okay, so we go to environment variables, path, and we just make sure that uh, it's not bin is in our path name. Okay, so this will allow us to be able to run Snort from anywhere. So I should be able to run it from here, and it works. So what we'll do is that we'll just create a new directory called my Snort. So I'm going to download uh, the rules file. So we'll just pick any one. So let's pick the Hydra crack. So then I'm going to extract it to the folder I've just created. And then I'll grab the rules file. Again, I'll, I'll extract that to there. So really nearly all set up. I'll create a log directory where our alerts will go into. And then we can run snort. We can then define the pcat file. So let's do that one. And then we define the rules file. And that's it. As easy as that, so it's uh, you can see 41 alerts in there. <laughs> A lot of malicious activity going on in there. Okay, no port scan in there. So this is the alerts that we've just actually created. Okay, uh, lots of bad logins, of course, because this is a Hydra attack. So we can see here that has generated many alerts and the same thing would happen if we if we run that in real time would get the same sort of trace okay so it's as easy as that uh, just go to the web page download the traces download snort install snort and then use the minus r option to run through the traces which should have the basic scans in them and that will allow you to learn how to use snore and detect certain types of maliciousness.